welcome everyone today we are going to dive into the exciting world of next generation sequencing or ngs for short in this presentation we will cover the following key points firstly what is ngs we will start by defining ngs and understanding its basic principles then we will see its workflow we will break down the step by step process of ngs experiment then we will cover different types of ngs here we will explore the different ngs platforms and their specific applications then its key advantages here we will highlight the major benefits of using ngs as compared to traditional sequencing methods we will then cover its application here we will showcase the wide range of fields where ngs is making a significant impact we will also cover different trends in ngs we will explore latest advancement and emerging trends in ngs technology lastly we will cover different bioinformatic tools used for ngs now let's start by understanding what is next generation sequencing or ngs is all about NGS is a revolutionary technology that allows us to sequence DNA or RNA incredibly fast and efficiently. The core idea behind NGS is sequencing by synthesis, where we determine the order of nucleotides in DNA or RNA fragments. This powerful technology enables scientists to study entire genome or specific regions of interest with remarkable speed and accuracy. NGS involves different matrices, chemistries, and bioinformatics for sequencing millions of DNA fragments. Now let's embark on a fascinating journey through the history of DNA sequencing. It all began in 1869 with Frederick Mischer first isolated DNA in the form of chromatin. Then through years, many scientists carry forward this journey. Finally, around 2007, Next generation sequencing was developed, which has proved to be the changing point of DNA sequencing journey. So now let's discuss about the workflow of NGS technology. Firstly, sample preparation is done where DNA RNA is extracted. Then library construction is done from fragments of DNA are linked, adapted and indexed addition is optional then comes the cluster generation step in which millions of copies of fragments are created following by sequencing step here nucleotide order is determined and the raw data is generated now data analysis is performed where conversion of raw data to sequences is performed finally Data interpretation is done where analysis of variants is performed for biological insights. Here we will outline the different types of NGS. Firstly, we have Illumina, which offers high accuracy, long reads, high throughput, which is ideal for large scale sequencing projects. Then we have Ion Torrent, which has fast turnaround with low cost per sample and is suitable for targeted sequencing and clinical applications. Then we have PacBio offers with long reads, high consensus accuracy, which is ideal for complex genomic regions. Lastly, we have Oxford Nanopore. Here, ultra long reads are offered with portability and real-time analysis, which is suitable for metagenomic and real-time applications. So, this is a statical representation of NGS market in the year 2022. Here, we can see that the global NGS data analysis market was valued at $883.1 million. And the largest segment is academic research followed by clinical research and hospitals, pharmaceuticals and biotech in tights represent a significant portion of this market and then there is a small percentage of other users too 
Here are some key advantages of NGS above traditional sequencing. It offers higher throughput and scalability. It gives faster result with lower assets. It conducts genome targeted sequencing. It gives sensitive gene expression analysis too. So, this is the statical visualization of the evolution of DNA sequencing throughput over the time. Here we can see how first generation Sanger sequencing gives low throughput. Then second generation has a significant increase in throughput. Finally third generation sequencing is boost in throughput was observed. Now let's discuss about the major application of NGS. It is used for whole genome sequencing for disease studies. It is used for targeted sequencing for specific gene analysis. Pharmacogenesis for personalized medicine is done through NGS data. And diagnosis for liquid biopsy for cancer is also done through NGS data. And many more additions. This is the concept map for application of NGS technology, where we can see it's used in drug discovery and development, pharmacogenesis, vaccinology, and biomarker discoveries, etc. Now, we will move forward towards new NGS trends. NGS technology is rapidly evolving with several key advancements like increased reds, lens, and accuracy, improved sample preparation and library construction, advancement in bioinformatics and data analysis tool, expansion of clinical application, integration with other technologies, and many more trends to follow. So this is the statical representation of how NGS market is rising from the year 2022 and will till year 2032. In this, it is a rapidly growing market with significant potential. It is estimated that the market size will reach to $29.7 billion till the year 2032, which is way too high. Now here, we have a bioinformatics tools list. So NGS data analysis requires specialized bioinformatics tool. For data quality control, we have FASTA QC tool which assess raw sequence data quality. For data pre-processing, we have trimonatic tool which cleans and filter raw reads. For read alignments, we have BWA and Botic 2 aligns which reads to a reference genome. For data pre-processing and analysis, we have SAM tools, GATK, SPEDIS, Kraken, etc., which handles various downstream analysis, including variant calling, de novo assembly, differential DNA expression, metagenomics, and transcriptomes. Each tool has a specific role in the NGS analysis pipeline. To recap, we have explored the potential of NGS in drug discovery from targets identification to personalized medicine. This technology is rapidly advancing, offering pre-promising opportunities for the future of healthcare. I encourage you to explore this further and consider the potential of the application in NGS work. Thank you all for your attention.